Great, Connie Willbender. And I've got to tell you, I've had the worst luck with this build. I had to record this entire thing three times over and it didn't even have anything to do with the playstyle. Anyway, Connie and Power Willbender are really similar, since Guardian likes to turn power weapons into Connie weapons simply despite the Geneva Convention, I guess. Yeah, did you know setting people on fire was bad? Crazy how that works. But this is a video game and they don't even have a Geneva on Tyria, so Pyromaniacs rejoice. Also, this build has one of the most weirdly structured rotation notes on Snow Pros that I've ever seen, but to filter out the basic idea is quite simple. You use the F1 on cooldown and then you abuse multi-hit skills to proc the fire as often as possible. This is where most of your damage is going to come from. Besides that, you also want to keep an eye on the Torch 4 to not let it run out, but there's really not a lot to it. In theory, you can simplify this down even further by only using one of the weapon sets, most likely Sword, because it has two multi-hit skills instead of one, and that's basically all the choices you get to make. Uh, the range from Scepter doesn't actually help you, because your F1 will lock you into melee regardless. For defense, thanks to Balthazar runes, you do actually have some extra health, along with heavy armor, so you're doing pretty alright in the base stat department. The F2 has some healing in a pinch, and Guardian just comes with excellent healing skills in general. However, you are, as I've mentioned, completely melee locked. Even if you're trying to get out of melee, you're going back into melee. The F1, again, most of your damage, will force you to be there whether you like it or not. In terms of utility, you have the exact same lineup as the power version, which makes me wish I could reuse that recording. <clears throat> I mean, decent CC, inherent Condi Cleanse and Stab, and Signet of Wrath is a fairly open slot, so you can trade it for either more CC, or some more Stab, or a Reflect, or an excellent Aegis Source. As with most Guardian builds, you're pretty stacked. In truth, at the time of recording, Condi Willbender does not have a lot going for it that Firebrand isn't doing better. We'll see how that holds up when the nerfs are out, which I can't predict because I'm doing this before that patch goes live. On the surface, Condi Willbender is a lot simpler, but also it ends up being faster paced than Firebrand. And again, the nature of the F1 makes it a more risky playstyle. The two do work with really similar gear, so you can just feel free to try both and see which one you like better, or even switch between fights if you feel like it.